Well, both of the boys, they have um, autism. Lorenzo, he has autism and ADHD. Lorenzo was diagnosed at two and a half years old. Antonio was diagnosed at 18 months. And um, it's been an up and down journey, um, to say the least, but try to keep things positive. A lot of times they always say like it's getting a diagnosis is kind of like the death of um, the death of all the visions and all the plans that you had for your kids. Um, once you get over that hump, you you can actually really focus and do what's needed for your kids and just love on them. Even though with the diagnosis, it doesn't change them as a person um, or what their capabilities are. So the VIP Physicians in Kids program is a patient-centered medical home program. So we work with clients who are birth through 22 who have special health care needs. We're doing care coordination and resource access assistance with the, the patients and their families. Clients are referred to us by their pediatrician or their pediatric specialty care provider that we're partnered with. Our pediatrician, um, she recommended VIP kids because of the challenges that we were having. Sierra came to me as a young mom with two young boys, no support system. The two boys we diagnosed as both autistic, as toddlers, and knew she was going to need so many resources. It was sort of overwhelming for me to think, okay, who do I send her to first? I talked to Sierra, set her up with VIP kids. So we focus in on what the families want to work on and what's important to the families. And we really encourage the parents and meet them where they're at. At the time, the complex that we were living at, um, they we had a noise disturbance saying that because my children were loud, um, they wanted to evict us from our home. And we've lived there for several years, no problem, but because we had new neighbors and because my children were considered loud, um, that's the reason why. Um, I had to explain to the complex, because of this and they're nonverbal, this is their way of communicating. Um, I had to submit documentation from my pediatrician as well as other documentation as well to support um, my kid's diagnosis. Um, even with that, they still wanted to pursue their eviction. So when I talked to VIP kids, when I talked to Faye, um, she gave me the resources that I needed to talk to um, legal aid and find a disability lawyer to help advocate for us so we could be able to stay in the home or at least get additional um, time to be able to um, find a new place. We want them to just really become independent and confident in their abilities. Sierra has now become this wonderful woman. Her boys are amazing. Originally when she visited our office, we had to tie everything down. Now they come and they're cooperative. Sierra did not want to be on medical assistance. She wanted to work. And VIP Kids made that possible for her. Not only did they make that possible for her to buy the resources they provided her, but they also gave her confidence, they empowered her to help her own boys. It's so wonderful to see now. With your organization, it's not necessarily like feeling like what do you, like what you need from like me or my kids. You always ask like, what do I need? What do I need to support my kids and, and how to make them thrive and, and continue doing the wonderful progress they've been doing. And that means so much to me.